This tutorial is destined to individuals who wish to submit a travel grant application form to the Senate Research Committee. In order to do so, please access the Bishops University Research Portal by clicking on this purple button that can be found on the Research homepage. Please remember that your username is your Bishops University email address and that you will have created your own password already. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will be using our dummy account that belongs to Dr. Sherlock Holmes. In order to access the travel grant application form, you may click on Apply New, which will bring you to all of the application forms currently available at the Office of Research Services. And the travel grant application form will be the second one under the listing of Office of Research Services. You may then proceed to fill it out and submit it as usual. Please remember to save as often as possible. Now, for the purposes of this demonstration, I have already filled out a draft, which we will access here, and we will continue to complete by clicking on Edit. So in the Travel Grant Application form, please indicate the title of your conference paper, as well as the start and end dates of the conference. So here, Sherlock will be going to a conference from November 15th to November 17th. No related certifications are required, so other fields can be left blank. Please remember to save as soon as you change tabs. Under the Project Team Info tab, this section will be automatically populated because you are filling out the application form through your own Bishops University Research Portal account. Because it is a conference, there are no other project member members, so this section does not have to be filled out. Under Project Sponsor Info, you will click Add New to add details and select the agency from whom you are uh, asking for money. In this case, Bishops University is the SRC. So this is the fifth one down the list. You may select it here and then choose the program for which you want funds, travel grants. Now the start date here is going to be May 1st of the current fiscal year, so in this case May 1st 2017, and the end date is going to be April 30th of the current fiscal year, so April 30th 2018. Please enter the deadline of the competition date to which you are applying. In this case I will apply for the September 30th deadline. Currency type is of course Canadian dollars. Under the disbursement section please click on add new to provide details about the amounts that you are requesting. Do not enter anything under fiscal year. This will be automatically populated. Under start and end date, you will unfortunately have to complete the same steps. So May 1st of the current fiscal year and April 30th, I'm sorry, April 30th of the current fiscal year. Uh, we apologize for the redundancy, but that is the way the system is made. You will specify the total requested cash here under in-kind overhead awarded cash, awarded in-kind, awarded overhead, final cash, etc. This does not have to be filled out by you at this time. So this is the only information you have to fill out in this section. Please click Save and you may close. The next tab is the SRC Travel Grant application form. So this is the exact same application form you are used to filling out. Please be sure to answer all questions that have a red asterisk under all tabs and scroll down to see that all questions have indeed been answered. In the budget section, as usual, you will outline your budget and your justifications. If any attachments are necessary, you may add them here by clicking Add Attachment and uploading any document to the research portal. If you wish to see the workflow on this application form, you may do so on clicking Application Log, and this will bring you to a page that will outline everything that has been done on this application. Please remember to save often. If you wish to keep a copy for your files, you may print the application form, export it to Word or to PDF, and when you are ready to submit, you may click the Submit button. 
I will cancel because I do not want to pepper Sylvie's account with a whole bunch of applications from Sherlock Holmes. Please remember that you may contact Julie Fredette or Sylvie Coutet if you have any questions regarding the research portal.